All right, hello, this is Queen of Pentacles, Tarot 333, and I'm here to do a random read. Let's do an energy checkup read. Okay, let's find out. All right. Let's see what kind of energy I pull right now. I don't know yet. Oh, man. <laughs> Saw you across the room. Somebody think you beautiful. Man or woman, somebody think you beautiful. You going out for dinner, for brunch, or something like that. Someone wants you to know something. Mm hmm. And then somebody wants to tear you up or something, okay? They love you. Children could be involved in this situation. Let's see these cards right here. You getting a victory? A victory will work. You know. For some people, as soon as today. A lot of people love you. They like seeing you. They like seeing you come around. You scare some people. <laughs> you scare somebody. They want to explain. They want to talk to you. They worried about talking to you too. They want to meet you and everything like that. They want to take you out here. Nine of Pentacles. They know you don't care about like being single. They know you a star. They like that about you. They want to sing you a song and everything like that. They want to take care of you. They want to talk to you. They really want to take care of you. Why are you scared of them though? Conflict. Some things that you have been through and everything like that. You know. They want to tell you that they ain't like that or nothing like that. They want to offer you love and everything like that. They trying to cover their tracks right now. But, you know, what's this conflict? Somebody you love got in trouble. They got stuff they was hiding from you. But they don't want you to see them like that at all. They want to kiss you. They see you as strong. I heard you ghosted them. Maybe you ghosted somebody. Because something they were trying to like fix here. Let me see new beginning. You scare them a little bit though. Because you want to be single. They feel like you know. They want to borrow you for a minute. And talk to you. They said that you was real sweet. They like you. They want to be a happy family with you. But something they don't like though. They said that you um. Holding on to something. What other people did to you. Or whatever too. You could be dealing with a cancer. Libra Gemini Aquarius. Here too. They said that you wish fulfillment. Like you the dream girl. Or dream dude. Here. They try not to think about you at all. But they want you. Yep. Somebody. Somebody loves you baby. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, they said they talked about you to other people and stuff that they liked it, that they trusted to talk to you about. They told them how much they liked you and everything like that, and then you was gone. <laughs> they said they want you to come back to them right here. They said they lied about a lot of stuff. Somebody even lied about their money. And they didn't think you were going to let them go so quick. They mad about that because they wanted to try to kiss you. And love you and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they feel like you probably figured them out. Somebody, they got another life. They got another life. They're trying to clean it up and trying to get rid of it so they can offer you love and stuff like that. They're doing all kinds of stuff to try to clean up their other life and everything. But they must have couldn't hide it from you because you ghosted them. They pissed at your ass. They real mad at you, man or woman. Coming towards you to confront you too. Somebody need to be careful about this person. Cause they want to fuss. And they want to argue. And they want to fight. And they bitter. And they feel like you know. That you shouldn't be thinking like you think or something. And they feel like you know. 
For instance, this is the kind of person that feels like, you know, they say stuff like, like, everybody needs somebody. Like, how you don't want no man or how you don't want no woman? And what you mean? You know, you want to be single and you okay with being single. Wait a minute. What you mean you don't want me? Well, I feel rejected. And stuff because, you know, yeah, I'm hiding stuff and, you know, I'm hiding things from you. But, and I'm living a double life, but, you know, I want you and everything. But you ain't taking me serious. I can't believe it because everybody else take me serious. And you're the only person that I know in the world that didn't get your feelings involved with me. See, I'm trying to sweet talk you and stuff and I'm trying to be your lover. Even though there could be a third party on the side and another kid that they ain't tell you about or something like that. Because I ain't tell you everything about myself because I don't want to run you away. But you're my wishing well. You know what I'm saying? I was wishing, I was praying for you and stuff. And then you had a nerve to dismiss me? What the hell? Who you think you is? Like, I got so many people chasing me and stuff. And you're the only person that's like bold enough to try to reject me. How could you? Like, I'm trying to be with you. So I'm trying to be with you. And you act like you know every damn thing. And this person, like, you know, I know you're a preacher. Or I know you're a teacher or something like that. But I don't care about all that mess. I don't even care about nothing you do. Everything you do, that's not important. I'm trying to show you what I can do for you. See, they don't, they don't even appreciate and respect what you do. So this person needs all your attention. All of it. Every last bit of your attention. They want to be there all the time. They don't care about you got to work or nothing like that. They just want to, um, you know, be in your face all the time and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, you know, this the way they did it or they, you know, uncle them did it or their mama them did it. And that's how they feel that, you know, it goes. But it don't work that way because you're telling them that you're a boss and everything. You don't want to hear that mess or nothing. So you put somebody on hold. And you told them to stop with the bullshit and everything like that. Like, I used you for, like, communication and conversation, but I'm okay with being by myself now. Get off of my back. So, I feel like at this time here, you like, who this person think they is and everything? Don't they know that I'm the shit, I'm a star, and I'm a everything, and I don't even care, like, about all the attention that you're trying to show me. They don't even oppress me. I just need your company for right then because I don't need it like that. So, this other person said, well, they're going to stalk you. Watch you, everything like that. They even gonna come kid. Somebody gonna come kidnap somebody. Oh my god! Once they get you and everything like that, once you talking about something, you wanna leave. They are gonna tell you that you ain't going nowhere. For real, they say they wanna marry you and all that. That's probably how they are gonna kidnap you. I don't know about that though. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this! Oh wow! Somebody, right? Somebody post a baby. So you dealing with somebody who is like they. You know, it's all about them. It's all about me, 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 me. And they throwing a temper tantrum and all that, too. Somebody pissed off at you because they like, oh, my God, I don't even see what this person sees in this person right here. Oh, man, we done lost this one. We done lost this one. Because this one over here chasing this other person, they ain't even studying us or nothing. This person showing all this attention to this other person and stuff because... They trying to prove to you that they want to be with you. Somebody post a baby, though, and then they hiding something, too. Yeah, somebody dealing with somebody kind of non-committal, too. And I feel like you figured them out before they could even believe that you figured them out. And everything, you saw a snake that was trying to offer you love. It's like you saw right through this person right here. And they didn't expect you to. Someone wants to tear you up. Because they expected you just to bow down like everybody else bow down. Because, see... But see, you didn't. You didn't. And it scared them. They're like, what in the world just happened right here? I don't know, man. I'm for real. Like, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So they won't stop. They just ain't going to stop. They said call them. They want to take you out. They want to browse the menu. You can eat whatever you You can eat whatever you like. They want to take care of you. They love you. They see you as a star. And everything. They don't want you to push them back. What is they talking about? They talking about everything. 
They said that they had a spell on them and they got returned to sender. Now they awake and they can hear your body calling them. They said they ain't weak. They strong here. And they want, they, you know. And, ooh, it hurt because of secrets. They got hurt because of secrets. Who got hurt because, yeah, somebody got hurt because of secrets. Somebody was holding back something from somebody and they can't believe whatever they find out. It made them sick and everything because this person really loved you and everything like that. And they want to be your potion number nine. Maybe you bought some new perfume and they want to talk to you on the telephone and all that. And they can't stop thinking about you, reminiscing, and they're going to chase, chase you. They try to play some games, possibly even chess, soccer, golf, or a shooting pool. Here, meet the family. Here, this person felt like they was real happy about you. They saw you across the room. It was love at first sight. It was love at first sight. I know. From the way you look at me. Mm -hmm. When she says she or he was unhappily. Married with children, and I wish I never met her at all. They say your love making them sick, even though I love her so or him. Somebody said you're a star, and they want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. And you got love for me. Ooh, oh, oh. But when they start acting different, you say, Go on somewhere, I'm at peace. <laughs> But you still belong to someone else. Maybe in another life. That's Carl Thomas. Things will be the way. Oh, oh. I'm serious because somebody had a third party right here. They in love with you, though. Eight of Cups. But you told them to get the stepping like Martin Lawrence say. Because somebody was trying to cause you some kind of confusion. And now your love is making them sick. They didn't take you serious or nothing. Didn't know what they want. But it was love at first sight. Mm -hmm. Yup. Anyway.